Hi everyone, welcome back. I am glad that you are here. I know that you click this video because you would like to know what's the update of our previous video, the refusal visa upon the initial interview at the Consulate Embassy Manila. I would like to apologize with you guys for the late update because I've been busy doing preparing some other documents before we leave in the Philippines going back here in USA with my child. By the way, we are here already in the USA with my child and this time I'm going to share with you that timeline and also the mistake that you need to avoid, some of them. Then also if you would like to check the visa status through online, I created a short video on that on how to do it. Very easy and simple. All right, so for this time, I'm going to share with you the timeline At uh, during the interview that was May 20th, 2024 at 6.30 in the morning. Uh, my son is 11 years old, so he needs an accompanied by parents or guardians. So I'm the one who's with him during the interview. So during the interview, uh, the consulate decided to give us 2 to 1G because uh, there is some um, information that they need to get it from us through SIAC because the affidavit of support and the transcript year 2023, I forgot to upload it to the system. I thought they will re um, accept the original copy, but we need to upload it also to the SIAC. So that's the reason why we are 221G. So for you guys, we have a different issues why uh, we are 221G. Some of you, maybe that NBI, you need that aka so you need to get another nbi for that and upload it to siak so for us those are the issued why we are 221g but don't worry 221g is not a denied visa this is something that it's lack of um, evidence or the essential documents that the consulate needs and once we submitted we comply all those requir requirements that they need they will issue the visa generally so we don't need to worry about it then also um, you will get the passport after that. Okay, so next is uh, when the time that they give us 221G, then within that day, we fixed the problem. We went to the computer shop and you know what guys, we walk a little bit farther from the US Embassy Manila because when you are going to use the computer shop closer to the embassy, it's like the rates are very expensive and that's too much Then if you want he can walk and i guess we went to the pedro hill and it's closer to the robinson manila there is a bunch of computer shop over there so i'm sharing it with you so in case it will happen to you okay guys and that's the time that we um, uploaded all the documents through online and then after submitting through online to our siak account we went to the robinson manila there is an lbc over there then we drop off, we uh, ship our documents to the consulate, including the visa passport, the white form, the to do one you white form, and then the documents that they need. And also there's another small piece of paper that the LBC staff gave it to us that we need to fill it out. So I make a photocopy on that and give it back to them, the original copy, because one of those paper, it will be included on that uh, documents to be shipped it back to the consulate okay so that's what happened i guess i pay 450 pesos for shipping through lbc then within two days they will be uh, delivered that one to the consulate okay so aside of that lbc also will give us a tracking number so we can track where is the uh, documents okay after all those things has been done within that day may, may 22 i checked through online um, the status of our visa from the time that we are refused i noticed that the change uh the date was changed and when i checked the tracking number from lbc the consulate already received our documents okay then the following days i checked and there's no changes may 24 there was a changes of date again and i believe that during this date may 24 friday they are reviewing or adjudicating our documents because you can open also your cgi account you can uh, see what's uh, the status right there but for us it shows that passport still with u.s consulate okay and then take note guys that once the u.s has 
a holiday it will be a holiday also in u.s embassy manila so on may 27th that was memorial day so that is including to our uh, process because um the office is closed the embassy is closed for sure then may 30th and before this one guys every day i'm always checking the the visa status like morning lunch or at night time because i need to um keep on update about it because i have only 30 days leave vacation in philippine because my employer here in usa is uh, approved they approve only the 30 days leave vacation so i need to make it you know it's so risky when i went to the philippines during the process of this visa so every day i always check the status then may 30th I am super glad because in the morning it was it's issued and then it says there that seven to ten days it will be delivered right and this seven to ten days this is for the province if you live in the province they will deliver the visa and passport um within that days but if you put your pickup location will be at the SMO of Asia that would be the fastest location to get your passport it will take two to three days so i am super happy with this may 30th and when i counted from the time refused may 20th until may 30 its total is 11 days right including the memorial day holiday including also the weekend so 11 days that was issued so next will be i'm waiting for that that uh, they're gonna deliver it to me then may 31st i check it again the next day that was friday May 31. I checked the CGI account uh, for delivery and the status there is the passport has been received from consular section and currently being processed for delivery. So they're processing that to deliver it to us. And May 31st also, I received an email from the embassy. They gave us the tracking number and all the information there when we're going to pick up the passport at the SM Mall of Asia and then uh there was a note there that uh if you cannot pick up your um your visa passport you can ask somebody and just give your authorization letter and uh, your government id to them okay since my child is a minor i'm with him and i'm picking up his passport with visa on behalf of him and i just provide my passport my valid id and his birth certificate as a proof of relationship okay so june 3rd monday this is the one that i'm going to collect to pick up my uh son passport with visa and we went to the lbc mall of asia mall of asia they are open at nine o'clock the lbc there nine o'clock in the morning until nine i'm going to flash the schedule they have this schedule nine to nine and um yeah it looks like every day they are open so even it's weekend um the the lbc mall of asia is open which is good right so during that time that we pick it up he gave it to me the passport all right so i'm super glad that i receive it in the morning monday june 3rd because i have a travel going to mindanao in the afternoon which is very a uh, perfect time you know <laughs> and i'm so glad that uh, all those things has been done successfully and this one guys after uh, receiving the visa passport the next process will be the cfo the pidos for kids okay so i'm going to make a video for that and i hope you hit the button subscribe and leave or leave a comment for you to be updated on my next video thank you so much for your constant support and i'm gonna see you on my next video thank you and god bless you and keep you bye bye